Okay, so Kevin's got a choice of several tables and uh, chair options. This is option number one, and it is the most work, but nonetheless, the job needs to be done. This one is a cedar table, and it's 29 inches tall. And to the back of this one, it's uh, 29 and a half inches depth, and for width, or 47 and a half inches. And like I said, it needs to be sanded and uh, refinished. But that is, you know. Jobs are good and right, got to be done. It's just being used as a table in the workshop, which I don't need. So, anyways, we'll uh, move on to the next choices. There are better choices here, I believe, like this table. Chair. There's two chairs that go match this table. I haven't really gotten a close look at these chairs versus the ones upstairs. He should be standing up. The skull man. So, yeah, there's these two chairs. And this table has measurements. Sorry about the waiting. Is I got a tripod, I should be using it. Okay. Measurements. This one's got wings that fold out, so I get to measure it twice. But we'll just start with the height. And the height of this table is 29 and a half inches tall. Now, I know what the folded out dimensions is going to be because it's a round table. 42 inches across and that's going to be 42 inches all the way around. Fold up. So you can have both up, one down, you know, if you got to put it up against the wall, you still can. You want to, you know, have that extra person here, you can. So, take measure. That table has just been refinished. The seats on those two chairs need to be refinished, but again, not a big deal. Jobs are good. Alright. I don't have video editing software yet and I haven't figured out pause on the camera. I just have to go with it. Can I gonna run long? Cause my oh, buddy is that tail wag. This table goes with that uh almost any of the tables, but not the cedar table, but the, the second two choices. So this table, back up. I don't want your nose in there. Oh, it is 40 inches long, 20 inches deep, and 16 inches tall. Just a coffee table. I don't need it because I have this dark wooden box coffee table that matches the uh, the ward TV wardrobe. So again, I refinished that and it's been sitting with us for since then. But it goes with the other table we had before we got this uh, farmer's table. But it, you know, I refinished this, that came with it. This little square table close by the, I don't know, I guess it's an end table here so far or something. 20 inches square and it is 18 inches tall. And they're all maple tops. And we got one more to go. And the chairs. So, as we're going up, the tunnel of darkness. Sorry, no editing software. But the tripod sure steadies this. I was wobbling all over the place. 
choice number three. Okay, so this one measures 29 inches across, or depth I guess, I don't know. 29 inches by four feet. Four feet, huh? And this one is 29 inches tall as well. So that's the dimensions of that table. And that's another maple table. That one's got the painted white legs. Uh, the chairs downstairs to the one table, I believe, were solid um, wood, just like these two here. These two chairs go with the one downstairs. So then there's four chairs, but those two chairs don't match the ones in the basement, I don't think. So you have two of one kind, two of another. Yeah. And then, if you're really wanting more chairs, I know I got too many, but I won't if you take some. There's uh, three other similar different paint schemes, you know, they're each different, but they all kind of match in a way or another. So anyways, I think that's the end.